In this lesson, I'm going to be going over how to create all types of whiteboards in Canva. So you can see here I am on the home page and what you want to do here is go ahead and go to switch over to whiteboards, which is right next to docs here. So click on whiteboards and you're going to see that there are a lot of whiteboards that you can use here. So the, on the top here, you're going to see, you know, some of the most loved by other users, right? So these are the most common ones. The first one's going to be the whiteboard, which is just blank, where you can just create uh, from scratch. I recommend starting with one of these templates and, uh, you know, these are going to really give you a good start. So as you can see on the top here, we have a brainstorm whiteboard. We have a flow chart whiteboard, team whiteboard, planning whiteboard. And as you can see here, if we go down, you can see that there are so many templates that you can use here. If I go ahead and click, I uh, see all, see all right here, as you can see, scroll down here. And now you can actually filter by the different styles, by the theme, by the feature, by the color. If you go over to the left hand side, here, you're going to see that there are different categories here. So if I was going to pick social media, you can see that we get uh, whiteboards that are related to social media. If I was going to pick business, right? You can see that we have uh, whiteboards that are related to uh, business. If I go back to home here, I'm going to pick one of these so I can show you guys some of the things you can do with this. So let me go ahead and select uh, the brainstorm. Uh, let's do the flow chart uh, whiteboard here. Select that. And as you can see here, you have a blank page here. And you also have the different uh, the different styles over here on the left side, right? This is going to be under templates, so you can scroll down here to try to find a theme that you like, right? So let's do uh, you know a workflow diagram here. So I'm going to select this right here, and it's going to give you more like this, right? So if you like this one, and um, you know it's going to give you suggestions that are very similar to this, just in case you find something else that is better, right? As you can see, there's so many that you can pick from. All right. Now, if I uh, zoom in here, let's zoom in a little bit. As you can see here, this is going to be our uh, workflow diagram uh, whiteboard here. So to edit this, pretty simple. You can select each of these objects. We can start with uh, we can start with, you know, these little logos here. So if I select this, you can see that you have the ability to change the colors. You can edit the image, right? You can uh, let's go back. You can crop. Uh, you can you know, change the position of this as well. You can just drag it around if you're trying to change uh, the position. You also have another one here. Now for the text itself, you can double click inside here and you can change uh, the text here. Same thing as, you know, any text that's in here, right? Just hover over the text and you are going to find, you know, where uh, the box, the text box where the text is located that you can move around or you can actually edit the text itself. All right, if I zoom in here, it's good because we want to be able to see this right here. So you can zoom in by holding control and scrolling in. Now you can also, um, you can also change uh, the text that's in here. You can add more things here. As you can see, these are, uh, you know, different elements that are added on here. You can uh, change uh, this text here. You can move things around. Even these boxes here, you can move them around, right? You can move these around. Uh, you can move these around. Pretty simple here. Now, if we go back to our uh, home page here, we can look at more options that we have. Let's scroll all the way down here. And as you can see here, there's so many options that you can pick from. Let's pick this one over here. Pretty simple here. All right, cool. So this one looks really great. As you can see, there are so many things that you can edit within this, right? So if I zoom into here, you know, if you wanted to replace this with some other element, very simple. If I was going to go to element and I will look up, let's use one of these whiteboard graphics here. I'm going to use this little uh, check mark here so I can click this drag and say, I want to replace this here and drop it on here, right? Let's go ahead and move it right here. And I can simply put this above this, or you can actually delete uh, this right here first, right? So I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard. It's going to delete that, right? And I'm going to go ahead and add this right here, okay? You can also delete uh, this here. I'll add that on here. So it's kind of like how you can replace these things here. Uh, pretty simple. You can replace any of these things. Uh, you can do so many things with this. Uh, so moving on to the text that's over here on the left side, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and the text is the same thing here. You can, um, you know, let me go ahead and, uh, zoom out of this. All right, cool. Now you are going to be able to do the same thing. You can edit the text. You can move things around. You can rotate, uh, these, uh, squares here that you see on the screen. Uh, so many things you could do with these whiteboards. And once you're done with your whiteboard, you can go ahead and hit share. 
and you are going to go ahead and hit a uh, download right here and as you can see it's going to download as a png but if you wanted to download as a, a pdf you can go ahead and select that here see so many options here now you can hit download once you're done and there you go now you are going to have your whiteboard uh, whether you're creating a workflow ch chart or something like that you are going to be able to export this as a PDF, as a PNG, whatever you want to export it is. Now that is pretty much it when it comes to how you can create all types of whiteboards in Canva. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.